In this video, you will learn how to generate statistics on transcription factor binding sites in a large set of genomic regions, for example, ChIP-seq peaks. In the navigation bar under NGS Analysis, you find the program Overrepresented Transcription Factor Binding Sites that generates the statistics for you. This program can use bad files or sequence files as input. Here's an example for a bad format file. This is a tab delimited file with a chromosome, start, end position, an identifier, some numerical value, and the strand. I'm going to load a bad file here. This file contains 2600 peaks from a ChIP-seq experiment. These peak regions represent binding regions of the transcription factor STAT1 in interferon gamma-stimulated HALA cells. The file is now in my bad file list and I can select it. There are a number of different options for generating the binding site statistics. We can look for single transcription factor binding sites from MATBASE, or for pairs of binding sites, or if we have any for our own user-defined binding sites. We stick with the single transcription factor binding sites for now. The program will give me numbers for matrix family matches. Alternatively, I could also get matches for individual binding site matrices. Overrepresentation statistics will be calculated against both the genomic and the promoter background. If you have a file with your own background data, you can use this as well. Now we can start the analysis. The output is a sorted list of transcription factor binding site families. The binding sites are ordered by a genomic z-score. As can be expected, the binding site family for the stat factors v$stat is at the top of the list. It has matches in 1,923 of the 2,644 STAT1 peak regions. The total number of matches is more than 5,600. The statistics against the genome background show a 3.47-fold overrepresentation of STAT matches in our peaks and a z-score of almost 100. The z-score is the number of standard deviations by which our match numbers differ from the number of matches in the background. In the last three columns, equivalent numbers are shown for the promoter background. We also learn which other binding sites are co-enriched with STAT, for example sites for AP1 or ADS factors. Promoter and enhancer activity generally depends on combined binding of transcription factors, often in a pattern with a specific order and spacing of the binding sites, called modules. In regard to that, we might learn a bit more about our STAT binding regions if we let the program search for combinations of STAT with other binding sites. So let's go back to the input page. Now I'm going to let the program give me the statistics for modules, more specifically for pairs of binding sites with a distance of 10 to 50 base pairs between them. I'll continue here. In this type of analysis, one of the two elements in the module is fixed and you select it in the list here. I'm going to select the stat binding site family here. And run the query. We get a similar list as before, but now with the combinations of stat with other binding sites. Top ranking is a BCL6 stat combination and the second in the list is actually two stat binding sites. For each model, a distance score is calculated. It is based on the distribution of distances between the two elements in each model. A high distance score means that there is certain preference for a specific distance. This will result in one or maybe a few distinct peaks in the model's distance distribution graph. You can have a look at that graph if you click this list link in the match details column. Let's have a look at the distribution graph for stat-stat pairs. The distribution graph has a triple peak at 19, 21, and 23 base pairs distance between the two stat sites in the model. 
The middle peak is the highest with 359 matches. Other distances are much rarer. Why do we see a triple peak here? Stat binding sites are more or less palindromic, so one site can lead to a match both on the plus and on the minus strand. The consequence of this becomes obvious when we look at the match table. We have four model matches in region 1. Here we see the position of the first and the second matrix within the region. The four model matches are all made up of the different possible plus and minus strand combinations of the same two stat sites, with an offset of two base pairs for corresponding plus and minus matches. This results in one match with a distance of 19, two times 21 base pairs, and again one with 23 base pairs. This distribution is roughly in line with the height distribution in the triple peak. 21 base pairs is the distance for the two matches being on the same strand, and this corresponds to exactly two turns of the DNA helix, suggesting that the stat factors binding the two sides can sit side by side on the DNA. So much for now, thanks for watching this video, and remember to have a look at the other tutorials on this site.